When I finished my engineering school in France, uh, I went back to Morocco, started working as an engineer, production engineer in an industrial company here. And basically, uh, I found out that uh, when you are an engineer, you know how the engine works, but you don't know how, where the boat should head. So I decided that uh, going for an MBA was a very important uh, uh, step for me for the future. So I applied uh, for scholarship. And to be honest, at that time, uh, you know, a person from Abidis told me about this great program, but I was not aware how prestigious it was. So for me, it was, uh, I have to confess, it was a purely uh, financial motive. It just changed my life. And this is where, from that time, uh, I had this, my new mantra is, the sky is the limit. And that's really the American way of looking at things. My name is uh, Ahmed Reda Shami, and uh, I had the chance to uh, be uh, awarded the Fulbright Scholarship back in 1987. I applied to different universities, and uh, Columbia was one of the universities, and I was uh, accepted at Columbia, and I had to make the, 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 the choice. I uh, couldn't really make up my mind, and finally, California, you know, <laughs> was the, the, the reason why I ended up at UCLA. Very stimulating environment. The case studies in the MBA program are real life case studies uh, that go from the um, crisis, the, 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 missile, the, the missile crisis in Cuba, you know, in yeah, human resource uh, management and uh, you go to strategy and you're on Boeing and Airbus and, you know, McDonnell Douglas that doesn't exist anymore. So uh, really, and, and you have such bright people surrounding you. And more than that, these people come from different backgrounds, from different experiences, because as you know, the uh, MBA, the, the top MBA schools at, it, in the US don't accept people without experience. So you come with your experience. So when, when the, you, the, we are discussing ca cases, well, everyone brings to the table his own ex or her experience. Having that MBA helped me get a job at Microsoft. Basically, after two years being a distributor, they offered me a job and uh, I became the general manager for Northwest Africa and uh, uh, spent 11 years with them. I was doing fine there, really. It was, uh, business was booming, uh, the uh, benefits were great, but I, I, I just noticed that Morocco was changing so fast because King Mohammed VI came into power and he launched so many initiative projects. And one day I, I woke up and I said, well, I can't be out of this, of this. I have to come back became a minister back in 2007, Minister of Industry, Commerce, New Technologies, ambassador in Belgium for the European Union, and now chairman of the Social, Economic and Environmental Council. But what I can say really is, if there is something that uh, uh, is common to all these experiences is the way I, I, I behave, the way I tackle things, and this comes back to my earlier, you know, uh, comments about the, uh, how Americans, you know, cope with things, this American way of life, although we are here in Morocco, but uh, it's cultural. It's the, the thing that the sky is the limit. If you have the chance to do it, just do it. You will, it will be the best experience of your whole life it will open so many doors and you will be grateful for the rest of your life